Welcome to video number 39 in SQL reporting service and today we are going to cover the last topic of indicators in uh, uh, the SSRS alright so what else uh, we can do I mean there is a lot of things we can do with indicators but for demo right now I'm gonna do uh, something simple alright so as you all know we are dealing with uh, the product table and what we have done so far is uh, let me get the Visual Studio so what we have done as so far is like you know we have uh, worked on you know unit of stocks and based on which what we have done is we have decided like uh, you know uh, this ratings you know that the client want should buy more or not based on the ratings and those ratings we have configured you know based on the indicator properties using the value in states where the thing was like you know everything was like uh, based on the percentages and the important part was these three guys alright so which we have configured and we talked about it's generally recommended that we should always go by a percentage if the value turns out very high so percentage is the best deal alright <clears throat> so next thing is like now the question is is there any way we can add more indicators to it yeah the answer is yes you can but it should make some sense to your reports it's not uh, like you know just I want to add the indicators that and you keep on adding the indicators so I will show you so like uh, using this unit in stock this guy tells me you know if I want to buy more products or not and these guys are like units on order I mean these guys are placed on order so that way I can figure out you know who which product is performing well all over and you can always do uh, do something like this you know you have to select very carefully not the box but you have to choose the indicator if you don't like this uh, symbol you can anytime change it alright so for now I have taken I believe this one so I, uh, I'm sorry I think I have taken this one so if you like uh, you can take this one as well alright and the, it goes like same you have to tell him like uh, which property you are config configuring for right so I'm configuring here for if I get an option so I can see there are units in stocks units on order so I'm configuring based on units on order <clears throat> alright and as usual the calculations are based on the percentage so there's nothing changed nothing new everything is same and the icon is only changed if you want you can manipulate your icon your colors which way, uh, way you feel you can do it if you want uh, to go by you know the rating system you can use that as well alright so I'll show you something if I go like this and if I try to preview so it will give me the rating system and I mean every you know icon has something different so you can configuring configure it accordingly so like 0 to 20 percent is yellow but according to me if I want to configure it I'll say red and then 20 to 40 is okay you're performing a little well so go orange yellow is good 40 to 60 and little more on the yellowish so I'll put it on yellowish green which would be I'll keep it light green and this guy would be like full green so something like this and let's preview it so it depends like you know how do you want to see the reports this doesn't look very clear what exactly uh, it tries to show so that's why I kept uh, the basic one which was pretty meaningful to me and now when I try to preview it it works pretty good right so this is a basic thing we all know like uh, if you see units on order if you scroll down and if you try to take out the highest guy so this is our champ right so you can again do the calculation accordingly 100 divided by the percentage 33 will give you around you know 33 so the values above 33 should be you know uh, gray, uh, yellow so like if you uh, if you can look at uh, this Mr. 40 this guy is yellow right now in here so likewise uh, you can do the math for others like if you can check for 180 or maybe 70 I'm not I don't know uh, yes we do get 70 in here so you can see the values right so I hope this video gives you an idea like how can you use the indicators if you want to use 
all right so thank you for watching this video and if you like this video or if or if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends